In today's video, I'll show you how to very easily build a swing trading watch list scan using our free seasonal analysis indicator. Now, as I film this video, we're currently in the month of May. So I'm going to use the months of June, July, and August, the three summer months, to try and determine what should my watch list of stocks be. Now I'm going to copy and paste all of these stocks, come inside of the scan tab here, click add filter, click study. Now underneath ADX crossover, I'll select custom, and inside of the custom filter panel, navigate to ThinkScript editor, delete the code inside, and paste this in. Now the reason we're looking at these three months is I'm trying to gauge where are we likely to see some positive performance for the next three months. Where might we have some seasonal analysis tailwinds on our side along with maybe a particular technical analysis trigger. Now we'll get an error right off the bat which tells us add label is not allowed in this context. No problem, but before we delete all of these add labels, Let's take the little bit of code inside of them that we can use. I'm going to say plot signal since this is what I want Thinkorswim to search for. And for our specific conditions, I'm going to say, hey, is August overall a month in which more than let's say 60% of the time we close above where we opened at the beginning of the month and on average that difference is positive. Now I'm going to repeat this for June and July. Let's do July next. So I'll copy that same condition. I'll say and here, same thing needs to be greater than 60%. And I'm going to repeat this with June before we then delete all of these add label blocks. So I'll delete that block, this block, and finally our August block. And paste that in. And we'll change this one to a 60% as well. So, so far what we've done is we've asked Thinkorswim to go and search for all the places in which, according to seasonal analysis, more than 60% of the time, June, July, and August tend to close above where they opened. So we know we're entering this period of three consecutive months of at least uh, historical data suggesting strength. And in addition to that, we're also seeing the average difference, meaning what is the high minus the low should be greater than zero, meaning we know it's an up month or a bullish month. Now, the daily time frame here will only run this back with about a year's worth of data. So that's quite useless when we're looking at months here as our data points. That would mean only one set of data points for each month. Instead, we can change this to the monthly time frame, which allows us to go as far back as possible, which still has access to some of these data points that we're using, like the monthly checks. Now I'll click OK here, and the other condition that we can do is select which watch list we run the scan in. I'll start with all New York Stock Exchange stocks first. Now just with that one condition and our correct watch list selected, I can click Scan, and Thinkorswim will automatically go and search for all the places in which we have three consecutive months of good bullish action, and this is now returning a list of 31 stocks. So this can be your starting point, your starting watch list. However, in this list, you'll find you have a stock like GAQ. Never heard of it. Most likely you haven't either, given that it has a volume of just nine. You can add in one additional filter here for volume. So let's expand this so we can see all of our conditions. I can add in a volume condition here, looking at average volume greater than uh, 50 period simple moving average volume is greater than, let's say, 500,000. Now, if I rerun this scan, we should get a smaller list of stocks, just 19. Now, let's say you wanted to keep the volume filter, keep the seasonal analysis filter, but you wanted more than just the 19 stocks. This might be too small of a watch list for you. You can expand that by, say, maybe selecting all optionable instead. This allows you to see all stocks in which you can trade options on that particular ticker. Now, this watch list is a little bit larger, 55 total symbols. You can also layer on things like our Market Pulse dashboard script, which allows you to very quickly filter through different stocks and see what market stage they're in. All of the green ones are the ones in which our market stage is in a stage of acceleration, maybe supporting this idea of bullish strength as we head into our next month. Maybe even the yellows start to become an interesting second choice candidate. 
Whichever way you want to look at it, the scan gives you a really nice starting point to identify a list of stocks in which you'd like to dive deeper into where you have seasonal analysis acting as a good tailwind for support for why the next three months might have bullish pockets built inside of them. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.